you watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. Uh. this lad where are we somewhere only giants were meant to see these shrines tell their stories to the world but it turns out the real stories the secret stories those they kept here <coughs> inside you remember the story of skull and hati the wolf giants odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when ragnarok starts i remember but that's not the whole story see this shows the giant setting skull and hati free they are free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken I'm gonna like jump a off here and eat, see? and I'll be back on. The wolves are safe. Yeah, I'll see you later. Some more in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. Later. Have a good one. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See, Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is. <laughs> Someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow. And things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do? We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time. Or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard. <coughs> I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Never mind Didbelt's black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. <coughs> that's it then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home.
This way. Lad, even if we can figure out looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Spatelfine? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Kind of crack there. There's a shortcut this way. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. The danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. What's under there, you think? <laughs> ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely! <laughs> Stepped outside, but he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Hmm? Hmm? Almost home. Brother, a while. <coughs> Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But... <laughs> not fight here. 
You will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. <clears throat> Kratos! Over here! Sentry! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! <gasps> How you've grown! <laughs> uh... Well, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me... Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. But we're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? It's the cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms, and I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Let's hear what I want to know. Remember, we don't have the Unity Stone to let us jump off, right? Oh. Of course he remembers. Right, brother? Of course I remember. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimba Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, it, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Svartalfheim so we can try and rescue Tyr. The Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's... <laughs> what? It, it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? <sighs> you waited my son in disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. Do you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder Brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. <laughs> How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. He looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off galloping. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? I only 
only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. <laughs> keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. No refunds. This place is great, Sindri. <clears throat> I knew we'd left something behind. See? I knew you wanted a snack. <laughs> mm. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? <laughs> 